Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So we have a little bit of a late sell-off there in the US markets. Uh, as more economic data coming out of the eurozone was uh, was was a little bit flat, uh, and obviously ongoing issues with uh, with China and uh, and everything else. So um, a lot of volatility yesterday. We were higher cap of that 21 period SMA, well off the session lows, kind of a doji formation. Uh, but already this morning we began to uh, to move a little bit on the downside as well. Um, looking at some of the FX periods, you can see that the, the dollar is losing a little bit of momentum as well uh, against the uh, the sterling, the euro and the, and the Japanese yen. Um, we had uh, the Fed member Flockhart last night saying that people should concentrate on the strength of the US economy and stop worrying so much about China. Um, but I think people are just a little bit um, apprehensive with so many uh, different struggles going on right now in different parts of the world. Um, that's having a bit of a knock-on effect. It's worth noting as well that um, news on the, a lot of news wires this morning are in relation to Brazil, the world's seventh biggest economy. Their currency is a slump to the lowest ever uh, against the US dollar as they're fighting big corruption uh, probes and everything else. And when you consider what's happening with Volkswagen, loads of car manufacturers are also getting hurt. And uh, looking at Japan 225, it's also a little bit lower. Obviously, big exposure to uh, to the auto industry over in Japan, as uh, many other firms out there are now scrambling to uh, get a handle on what other um, areas they might be exposed to. Because if it was uh, VW, it might be other firms as well. But a lot of other global car firms are already down, uh, though obviously not as far down as Volkswagen. Had a bit of a 5% bounce yesterday, but still down pretty much 30% from the height of that a scandal that, that came out earlier on this week. So that's where we are with the US 13. Moving on to the UK 100, uh, actually a much better um, chart than the US 30 had yesterday. We actually had quite a strong reversal higher, but you can see that it got capped by that potential resistance at 60.73. In fact, to hit it bang on, then to kind of stop, stop shy, and we're a little bit on the lower side right now. Um, Commodity prices, some of them are ticking up. You've got gold, probably more safe haven buying than anything else. That's moving in the right direction, whereas crude has reversed course. Even though inventories were better than, uh, were were lower than what was expected, uh, global growth concerns still impacting that. But 60, 73 will be the impact. Uh, will be the potential resistance on the UK 100, and um, obviously it's got quite a big. The UK, UK 100 has got quite a big exposure to oil and miners as well. So there must be a little bit of a rebound in copper prices as well. So having a look there at, um, at Japan 225, um, 17,500 is potential support. We bounced off there a number of times before uh, we might get back down there again. Almost got a negative cross on the MACD. So having a look then at dollar yen, uh, dollar yen just actually pretty much doing nothing, just oscillating around that 21 period SMA. I'm not going to waste that much time on there. Um, looking at West Texas crude, you can see the uh, the negative um, bearish engulfing pattern we had yesterday. As I said, the, the inventory data was lower than expected, which should have been crude positive. Um, but there's a much bigger uh, supply of gasoline uh, distillate storage uh, in the US as well. And just the general malaise around China slow down. You know, we had the PMI yesterday which was worse than expected. Um, so $42 is the next potential support with 45.85 still being potential resistance. So even as Flockhart has come out, a Fed member Flockhart is saying, oh, you know, the strength of the US economy is fantastic, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not really kind of dampening the spirits of, of gold or people's expectations that a December rate hike probably just isn't going to happen, especially when you've got the world economy in the toilet the way that it is right now. 11.37 is potential um, resistance. We're pretty much on there just now, um, but it's probably the, t the tips of these candles here. Um, you're probably a, a little bit higher, 11.40. Um, this potential support was all the way back, uh, slash resistance, it's all the way back in November. And we're at the top end of our range this morning. On interday charts, we're literally uh, breaking fresh ground as we're looking at this chart. So gold could be interesting today. And we do have US durable goods to consider and employment claims. Uh, we've already had some German IFO uh, data. So we've had the, cons the CCI come out, a little bit worse than expected. Uh, you would have thought that would pressure the euro a little bit, but the dollar seems to be kind of weakening. Uh, at 9 a.m. UK time, we've still got business expectations index to come out of uh, Germany. So looking at euro dollar, we had a modest bounce of one spot 11. Um, nothing really has changed here, though we're trading in between the two moving averages. Other technicals are re relatively flat. We'll see how things go with that um, that German data and durable goods and the employment data. If you're a euro dollar trader, that's worth checking out. 
cable has not been having that much love you can see it's just been getting smashed the last couple of days not so good um one spot 5185 is a potential support we're getting quite close to there now we're in positive territory right now but in our day charts it looks anemic uh negative crossover there on the back d uh and but yeah i think a lot of people are just waiting for 15185 to decide what to do next um so this is the data that's due out today fast forward tomorrow i think tomorrow we've actually got a speech by janet yellen as well which is uh, is worth being aware of but we've got us gdp at 130 and that's going to be a big one to uh, to think about so guys as ever keep your eye on the chart forum make insights part of the late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next